important piece. This piece, 1077 in math, covers positive and negative numbers. We call them signed numbers. And I hope this piece does not become a negative experience for you. But I'm going to be positive about it and uh, teach you some techniques that I use with my students that make it a little easier. And I'll explain that to you as we move along here. Um, let's go to, first of all, to page six. And on page six, um, we, are, we are adding, um, nope, actually I want to go back to um, page four. There we go. Adding two numbers when the signs are the same. So if I'm adding two numbers and, and both of them are positive, like look at this example, two plus three. Or if I was adding negative 2 plus negative 2, notice the signs are the same. Let's see what happens on a number line real quick. If I start with, always oh, start at 0, and if I go out here to 2, so this is the first number. You know, the pace makes a big point out of calling it an addend, A-D-D-E-N-D. -E and that is true. Um, a lot of students forget, though, that numbers we're adding are just called addends. Um, so I just kind of call it the number, okay? So the first number that we're adding, the first addend, is 2. Now I'm going to add the addend of 3 to that. So notice I'm going 3 more in the positive direction. Notice where we land. Positive 5, okay? Equals positive 5. If I were to come this way with this next problem, negative 2 plus negative 2, I would go two in the negative direction, and then go two more in the negative direction, and look where I land, at negative four. So here's a rule, <clears throat> and I have my students memorize this. Now the pace goes through explaining that we have to use terms like absolute value. So add the absolute value of the sign numbers, and then keep the sign. It's, I just say add and keep the common sign, all right? So for adding and the signs are the same, add and keep the common sign. All right? I'm going to say it again. This time I want you to say it with me. Adding when the signs are the same. Add and keep the common sign. One more time. Adding when the signs are the same. Add and keep the common sign. Again, look at the example. Positive 2 plus positive 3, positive 5. You know that 2 plus 3 is 5. You know that 2 plus 2 is 4. You've known that since kindergarten. We're just saying that if it's negative 2 plus negative 2, so the signs are the same, then the answer will have the same common sign. They both were negative, so the answer is negative. We can picture that with a number line. We could take a big number, <coughs> negative 200 plus negative 350. And all we have to do is add the two number parts. So 200 plus 350 is 550. All right. And then because both numbers are, are negative, we keep that common sign. We could try to picture that with a number line and start at zero and go negative 200 and then go 350 more in the negative direction. But the point I think you get. All right. Now, the one that's a little more challenging is this rule here adding when the signs are different. If one number is positive and one number is negative. And that's what it talks about on page six. And uh, they have a three-step process here. Find the absolute value of each integer. Subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. Assign or attach the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. You read that and you think, what are we talking about? <laughs> Remember, integer just means a positive or negative number. And uh, we're talking about add-ins. Absolute value means the value of the number without a positive or negative sign. But you know what? All that's confusing. Let's just make it as simple as possible. Again, here's the rule I have my students memorize. And that is, if the signs are different, we're going to subtract the smaller from the larger and keep the sign of the larger, okay? So try to say that with me, all right? 
Adding when the signs are different. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Okay? Listen to it again. Adding when the signs are different. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Now you say it with me. Adding when the signs are different. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. I want you to ring that in your head. Say it over and over and over several times. Let's, let's go over both rules. Adding when the signs are the same. Add and keep the common sign. Adding when the signs are different. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Let's illustrate that with this problem right here. 3 plus negative 5. Just following the rule, what would I do? Don't think about which is positive, which is negative. Just say 3 is smaller than 5. Duh. So subtract 3 from 5. What do you get? 2. Now, which of these is the larger? 5. And what sign did it have? Negative. So I'm going to keep the negative, And I subtracted, so I got 2. And the answer is negative 2. Let's see how that works on the number line. Go out here to positive 3. But then I'm starting here and I'm going backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 5. Look where I landed. Negative 2. So the number line here helps us visualize the, the signs of the numbers and what we're doing. Positive 3 plus negative 5. I get negative 2. Let's think about negative 2 plus positive 6. And since I'm right here, I'll illustrate this first. So we'll go negative 2 and then positive 6 all the way out to here. Look where we land. Positive 4. Now let's apply the rule. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. What's 6 minus 2? 4. Which was larger? 6. It was positive. So the answer is going to be positive 4. All right, again, we can illustrate this with big numbers. Let's say we have negative 120 plus positive 200. All we have to do is subtract the smaller from the larger. So 200 minus 120 gives me 80. Keep the sign of the larger. 200 was larger, so the answer is positive. That's all there is to it. All right, let's do one more. Negative 45 plus positive 15. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Subtract 15 from 45 and you get 30. And then we'll keep the sign of the larger. And so it's negative 30. All right. These two rules, keep them as simple as possible. Chant them to yourself. I would write them down on a 3 by 5 card. Chant them every day for a week until you have them memorized because you are going to use these all the way through the rest of your math career. So it, the, the more confident you are of them and the more it just kind of comes back in your head, the easier these problems will be as you move through. The math is really not that hard, okay? I'm looking at page 6, problem number uh, 7. It says negative 77 plus 49. So the signs are different. We just subtract 49 from 77. You could probably do that in your head. And then because the 77 was negative, we keep the sign of that one. Now the directions say circle the addend that gives the sign to the answer. All they're asking is you to circle which of those two numbers has the larger absolute value. That's all. Okay? Because that's the one that will tell you whether the answer is positive or negative the sign that's on the larger one. So looking at problem number four, for instance, there's negative 89 and there's 51. So 89 is bigger than 51. So you circle that one and you realize, okay, my answer has to be negative. So even though it says plus, all right, we're adding sign to numbers. So even though it says adding, we're going to subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. All right, we'll stop this video for now. Next lesson is about subtracting signed numbers.